Hello everybody, and this is your Christian Education Moment, the Kids Zone special for this day. And what a wonderful day it is that we are celebrating Pentecost, the gift of Holy Spirit. And we wear the color red in significance and representation of the fire and that comes with us and walks alongside of us as people of God, as Christians all over the world. Today, I want to talk about purpose. Well, why purpose? Um, how does this relate to Holy Spirit? Well, last week we talked about having a plan and, and creating a plan in order to change our communities. But today I want to help us think about what is it that we are called to do and how Holy Spirit helps us to do so. First, I want to ask you this question. What is your name? Yes, what is your actual name? On the count of three, I want you to say your name after I say complete the sentence, I am. So, I am, and then you'll say your name, okay? Three, two, one. I am, okay, hopefully you said your name and you said it out loud. I want you to ask your parent or someone who's there with you, how did you get your name? Who gave you your name? What does your name mean? Oftentimes, what's in a name represents our purpose and our purpose for who we are to be in this world, what we are called and how our name will be able to set us apart and give us a, an identity that we stand out. Our name is not the only thing that gives us purpose, but what helps our purpose sometimes includes our upbringing and our, our surroundings, the things that we deposit on the inside of us, the places we go, our dreams, our hopes, all of that really helps to put together an idea of your purpose, of why you're here on this earth and why God created you. Sometimes though, there will be people on the outside, outside in the world or people in your community, people that you may know, who may not want your purpose to come into reality. Sometimes evil comes in and, and people will do mean and cruel things in order to stop people from believing their purpose. Sometimes they go to far extents and energy to cause harm to other people because they themselves are were taught to be harmful and to hate those who may not look like them or have the same identity as them. Well, sometimes we will experience this, and I want to be very clear to you, and hopefully you're sitting next to an adult, that there will be things that will happen to you that are outside of your control. Things that have nothing to do with you, but has everything to do with the, what's going on in the inside of other people because they lack understanding. They do not see the same way as God sees. God sees us all as God's children, God's beloved, God's wonderful creation. But I will tell you that there are a lot of places in this world where people's purpose have been dimmed. The light does not continue to shine. The fire has been controlled and not being able to be released because of the harm and the evil that exists in the world. Well, I want to tell you that in your name is so many things, are so many things that will help you be able to make it through life in your name, not just the letters in your name or the sounds in your name, your name represents pride. It represents a history. It represents those who've come before you who stand with you, whether they're here or not. And they are standing with you on your shoulders to remind you of who you are and your purpose. If you remember from the movie Lion King, Simba goes on a journey. He leaves Pride Rock and goes to find himself. And he grows up in a different land that was not really his purpose. But when Nala finds him and tells him about the damage and the destruction that's happened in his home, she reminds him of who he is and reminds him of his purpose and his identity. Let's take a look at that. Isn't this a great place? It is beautiful, but I don't understand something. 
You've been alive all this time. Why didn't you come back to Pride Rock? Well, I just needed to get out on my own. Live my own life. And I did. And it's great. We've really needed you at home. No one needs me. Yes, we do. You're the king. Nala, we've been through this. I'm not the king. Scar is. Simba, he let the hyenas take over the Pride Lands. What? Everything's destroyed. There's no food, no water. Simba, if you don't do something soon, everyone will starve. I can't go back. Why? You wouldn't understand. What wouldn't I understand? No, no, no. It doesn't matter. Hakuna Matata. What? Hakuna Matata. It's something I learned out here. Look, sometimes bad things happen. Simba! And there's nothing you can do about it. So why worry? Because it's your responsibility! Will you stop following me? <laughs> who are you? The question is, who are you? I thought I knew. Now I'm not so sure. You move faster, boy! Simba. Father? Simba, you have forgotten me. No. How could I? You have forgotten who you are and so forgotten me. Look inside yourself, Simba. You are more than what you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You are my son. And the one true king. Remember who you are. Hey! Where are you going? I'm going back! Get out of here! Have you guys seen Simba? I thought he was with you! He was, but now I can't find him. Where is he? <laughs> you won't find him here! <laughs> the king has returned. I can't believe it. Simba returns back home because of a light that goes on, that turns on on the inside of him that reminds him of his purpose. He then decides to confront Scar and take back the land that was destined for him. He is responsible for the people in his community. and He would not let evil have the final say. He would not let the destruction, you see it all around, there's no food, there's no hope, there's no life in the land, and the bad people have taken over. I am so grateful that God does not want us to lose our purpose, that God will put people in our lives that will help reignite the fire inside of us so that we can go after our purpose, we can go after our goals, we can put those plans into action because we know that our purpose is connected to God's bigger plan. And God's bigger plan is for all of our communities to thrive, for all of us to be whole and to be healthy and to be loving and kind to one another. God frowns when people hurt other people, when people cause harm to others and do things that are against other people because God loves all. And when we hurt or provide hatred to other people, we're not doing what God calls us to do. So I want you to say your name one more time when I count to three. One, two, three. Okay, that was pretty good. But now I want you to say your name with the roar. Before you say your name with the roar, with the thunderous roar, I want you to say your name with a realization and understanding that you have purpose, that you are not just here as to sit on the couch and play PlayStation or to run around and play games, but you are here for a reason. And because of that reason, you are free, you are black, you are whatever you are, is you exist in the world, you may be white, you may be Asian, you may be Latino, you may be a lot of different things across God's beautiful rainbow, 
but you are free because who the son sets free, Jesus Christ, is free indeed. And because of that freedom, we have this great gift of the Holy Spirit, which gives us this strength to confront all of the bad and the evil in this world. That gives us the strength to roar and to shout out to the world that we are God's children and that we have purpose. Believe today, even when there's so much bad in the world, that God can always, always will overcome evil, always overcome the bad. And all of us together, working together, being loving and kind, treating each other by the golden rule, which says to do unto others as you will have them to do unto you. We have to be kind and loving to one another because our kindness is just a step on the journey towards our purpose. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters. I love you so much. Hold each other tight. Give somebody a big hug and remind them that God loves you and there's nothing that you can do about it. And I love you too.